Welcome back to Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement, here at the News Forum. Our very special guest today is the Ontario Minister of Finance and President of the Treasury Board, for that matter, Mr. Peter bethlen uh, Peter, thanks again for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, I wanted to pivot for a little bit from the state of things right now to uh, your plan of action. I'm, I'm not asking you to, to deliver your budget on my program, although you're perfectly welcome to, but I'd love to get a sense of you know, your strategy moving forward, what the, what the goals are, and, and how do we get there? Oh, very good questions, and, and you're 100% right, Tony. I'm not going to reveal <laughs> the details of our budget, which, which uh, we're working on, have been working on, and we'll uh, we'll be launching next month. Uh, but I can tell you a few things. One one is uh, that the you know you cannot have a healthy economy without healthy people, and uh, so we'll continue to focus on people's lives um, because that's that's the challenge that we have right in front of us, um, and we'll continue to focus on people's livelihoods. And you asked the question earlier, you know, who, who's getting hit the hardest in this province from a business point of view? And so things like the Ontario Small uh, Business Grant Program that we announced at the end of December, launched it January 15th, um, started getting money in the doors of small businesses within seven days. This is helping small businesses who are really the economic backbone of this province. But more than the economic backbone of our province, small businesses, and we have more small businesses in Ontario than anywhere else in Canada, more than the economic backbone, they're the identity of our communities. I, I don't care if you're in downtown Toronto or in Kensington or in Pickering or in Stratford or in Kenora, all across this great province. You've walked, you, you, where you live, you, you go to your small business and you shop there. You do retail, you buy food, you go to the shoemaker, you go to the jeweler. And so putting in supports to help those businesses and to be very specific, this program for businesses under 100 employees who have suffered a 20% um, revenue drop uh, and have been restricted because of the provincial lockdown can apply for a grant. So it's unconditional if you qualify, minimum 10,000, maximum 20,000. And so far over, since January 15th, we're not even in 30 days, 80,000 small businesses have applied and money is rolling out the door. And I've heard from a lot of those small businesses who've told us that it's the difference between keeping the lights on and turning them off for good. And so it's having an impact. And when 80,000, the first day we had 10,000, that's seven applications a minute. Uh, that tells me that uh, we've got a program that's really helping the small business in Ontario and in the economic engine of this province. I know you're doing uh, a number of uh, online meetings, uh, stakeholder discussions in advance of the budget. What sorts of things are you hearing from Ontarians uh, with your stakeholder consultations? Well, thank you for, for mentioning that. And yes, I've, uh, I've toured the province uh, sitting in this chair. And, and it's, uh, in some ways, it's, 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 uh, we've adjusted to meeting on online in, and, and over Zoom or Teams or whatever feature, uh, what am I hearing across the province? You know, obviously people's health, that's number one. You know, they're worried about, uh, are they gonna catch COVID-19? Are they gonna be, is the health system there gonna be there for them? Is the, you know, there's a point when we really got pressure on the ICUs, which is the critical care units in our hospitals. Think about having to make a decision, should I treat Tony with a heart attack or Peter Bethlehem Falvey on a, uh, with a COVID-19 uh, needs a ventilator, you know, having to make those decisions because our, our healthcare system is overrun. That's what they're concerned about. Um, and we have to keep our eye on the ball. Now the numbers are coming down in the province. So that's being reflected in a lot of the meetings, but what we also have to look around the, down the road a little bit is the third wave. There could be a third wave. So we can't take our eye off the ball. We, I'm hearing from people that, you know, real commitment to staying at home, following the social protocols. I'm also hearing a lot of other things, which is, but also build for tomorrow. Um, help us with training. Help us with broadband if we're more connected online. Uh, not You don't have to go far out of my riding in Pickering, which is right beside Toronto, and you get into dead zones. And, you know, kids can't go online. You know, they have trouble doing online learning. Um, you know, more and more of our healthcare is online. People don't want to drive into a walk-in clinic or to a hospital. 
they can do that consultation from the comfort of their home, save a lot of time, de-stress the situation, and it's working. Our justice system, for example, is uh, uh, we're doing much more justice online and taking um, that unproductive uh, time away. So that's the type of thing I'm sure. hearing about. Modernize this economy, focus on the economy, and keep us safe.